In this video, we will talk about the Generate Report tool in SketchUp, which can help us to create really complex and elaborate spreadsheets like this one here. Now, basically, what Generate Report does is it takes all the elements or components that are in the scene, or also the one that you want to uh, list and calculate, and it's going to create a table or well, with the columns and with attributes and the, 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 the information that you want to find out and it's going to generate this uh, kind of spreadsheet. And this is similar to what happens in other BIM software like for example Revit where you can create similar data sheets. And this is really use useful because it's kind of a management um, pro um, process and a management tool that will help you to understand, for example, how expensive is your project or how many components, for example, how many chairs or how many windows do you need and so on. And it automatically updates uh, when you change something in the project, the spreadsheet is going to update as well. So this is really similar again to building information modeling or BIM technology. So let's get started here and first of all I have created inside the architecture that we used in previous videos I've created some of these uh, pillars here so you can see shorter pillars and higher pillars in the middle. This is just an example and if you want to create the same family or the same component in Revit these are called families when you create something. So I created something really simple like a rectangle and then I added a little bit of uh, roundness on the on these parts here. So be careful that it's going to be a closed shape. So in this case I've created this rounded corner and then I select everything and one trick that you can use when you want to mirror this effect is just to select and right click and say flip along the red and then again flip along the green and then again flip along the red. So you have all the rounded corners now and I can delete the rest with the eraser like that. So I'm trying to create a little bit uh, more complex pillar here. And especially when you move to the rendering part, which we will move into V-Ray, for example, then you will need rounded corners everywhere. There is also a tool in V-Ray, which is called rounded corners, just to create this effect, because rounded corners are really realistic when you, in terms of uh, rendering. Okay, so this is gonna be my component, or I can call this also family, if I am in Revit, and right, uh, double click, sorry, three clicks and right click and say make a component. And this is going to be my pillar. And I already created that. You can also create tags or layers where you want to store these different components. And everything you add here as uh, information, for example, the description or the, if, you, if we scroll down a little bit here, the price, we can set this like 1000 or the size, we can say the size is 10 meters uh, times, well, you, you can set all the dimension here. I'm just gonna type something, you know, uh, hypothetic, okay? And also you can add the URL. So you can add here vvv dot whatever fiddlers whatever pillar thing dot com. Okay, and create this. So now if I create copies of these, we already know that they're gonna be exactly the exact the exact same copy. And if I change one, so if I change the height of this one, it's gonna change the height of the other one. So then if I want to create higher pillars, I will copy and paste this. And let's Again, uh, before changing anything, right click and go to make unique. This is gonna like uh, create another entity 
different from the previous one. And I can also call this in another way. So this is now in the tag, which I called pilastro, it, and it's a pillar in Italian. I can change this and say pillar, uh, higher pillar, or higher column. Okay. And double click, and I will increase this more. So you can see that the other ones are not changing because I'm using another um, entity. Okay, so you can create multiple pillars or beams or whatever, chairs, anything you want. But just remember that you are creating like families. So if you want to create something different, create a component, give it a name and some information so that you can use them when you create the estimation or the metric calculation or the whatever you want to do with the generate wrapper tool. Now, to refresh your memory also, if you want to create copies, you can just move this with the Move tool, click Control, and you will create the first copy. Let's say that I want this 8 meters distance. OK. And then you can create multiple copies by typing, for example, 6 and X or times. And you're going to create multiple copies right there. This is what I done, done here in the inside of this building. OK. And then you will find also everything in the outliner. So you can see it's easier also to select them. And well, this one in the interior part, I call them pilastro, which is the term in Italian for beams and well, pillars. So I will select those that I want to calculate later, really easy by using the outliner. Okay, now let's start and open up the generate report. So let's start creating some reports. And there we go, it's gonna connect to the web, otherwise you're gonna have like a simplified version, so you need to be connected. Okay, so you should see a template, but right now this is in Italian. Well, only the description, it's in Italian, but the rest is in English, so it, you won't have problems to understand. Now, basically, the template that we already have, it's a really simple one, and we can just click on the Run button here to run the report. And you can see it's composed by two columns, and the first one is the definition name, so the name of a particular part of our project. So in my case, you can see I have Pilastro, which is Pillar and the count, so you have the quantity or the count, 